how to create cool edits like this using the new Lightroom Color Wheels tool. Let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Dax Brulee back with another one. We're gonna get right into it, how to use this new color grading tool that is replacing the split toning tool that used to be in Adobe Classic. Okay, so looking at it, this is the new tool right here. It's gonna be a color grading tab, it's replaced split toning. Pretty much what it's gonna let you do is gonna add certain colors at certain intensities into the different tones of the image. We have our shadows, which are our darks, our highlights, and we also have our mid-tones, which are our medium light level areas of the photo. If you've ever edited in Premiere Pro, then they have a really similar tool to this called color wheels so this will be very familiar to you but if you haven't then let's walk you through it so pretty much there's gonna be a circle in the middle of all three of them you can grab this circle and drag it anywhere along the color wheel how far out of the center it's gonna be is how saturated it is and then all around the circle is gonna be the different hues of the circle. As you can see, this is changing the hue of my image and adding a lot of different colors to it. Now, if you only wanna be changing the hue, you can grab the outside circle and then you can circle that around. And then if you only wanna be changing the intensity, you can grab the inside circle and point this up or down. However, note this circle can still go side to side if you give it a little pressure, but if you don't give it that much pressure, just side to side, then it will only change the intensity of the color. Finally, at the bottom here is the luminance slider. So if I have this all the way to red and I wanna make it brighter, then I can add luminance and I can bring down the luminance of the hue. So you have all three controls here. You have saturation, you have hue, and you have luminance. This is similar to HSL, which has the exact same controls, just specific for different colors. This is how it used to work for highlights and shadows, but they also introduced the mid-tone slider. Here, we can do the exact same thing, but this is gonna be affecting the mid-tones of the image. So not the super bright parts like this, for example, and not the super dark parts like this dark area. Something more along the middle, like maybe this tone right here. Okay, so the blending is pretty much gonna show how much you want to blend different tones together to create a blend color kind of, if, if that makes sense. So let's do an example here. We're gonna put our shadows, we're gonna put some green, we're gonna put some red. Right now blending's at 50, so it's blending nicely in between each other. If we increase that, it's gonna blend more. As you can see, the green's gonna get harder and also the red is gonna get darker. Compared to bringing that back, they're gonna be more individual. So the red is gonna stay in those highlights and the shadows are gonna stay real green. And we also have the balance down here, which is pretty much gonna show if it's more towards the shadows or more towards the highlights. So obviously if I go to the right all the way, it's gonna be the highlights, which are red, the shadows for the left, which are gonna be all green. Okay. Now we can go into the individual colors if we wanna get more specific with things. For example here, you can actually get perfect values of the hue if you have a hue that you like, um, a hue value that you like. You can also come over here and you can have a color picker. So if you have custom colors that you set, then you can always be throwing those into your shadows, your mid-tones, your highlights. If you right click here, you can select this swatch and you can select swatch to current color. So if you wanna have some presets right here, then you can easily just find the color you want. For example, let's say I want the hue of uh, this nice yellow here. Then come here, select swatch, and then it'll instantly make that. So you can go like this, bang, and then it'll instantly turn to that color. And then of course, luminance here, like I said before, is the slider right under, which is gonna add or make darker this current color. Again, blending is gonna show how much do you wanna blend with the image and how much do you not wanna blend with the image and kind of have as an overlayer. Finally, the balance left or right. And we can go pretty much into all these individual ones, highlight, mid-tones, and sliders. And then finally, we have the global slider here. So if you want the whole image to look like a certain hue, for example, the whole thing to be red like that, or sorry, it's more of a pink, you can just choose that. You can drop saturation if you don't want that, it's amazing. Also, you can see these eyes here um, that if you click, it'll pretty much show before and after. So you can quickly see that. And then again, the luminance slider is there. If you wanna reset any of these, just double click on the name and it'll instantly reset things for you. If you wanna reset on the whole thing, I think you can just click the adjust thing twice. So that's pretty much the video, how to use this amazing new tool. I'm so glad they finally updated split toning. We can get so much more detailed with this and actually put current values for hue and for saturation. But yeah, that's pretty much the video for you guys. Question of the day for you guys, are you enjoying this tool? Do you like this tool? I think split toning was well overdue. So it was about time that they updated that. But that's pretty much, pretty much the video. My name is Dax Brulee. I will see you guys in the next one. Creators keep creating. Peace.